she's kicking me out of the car again, drives me to the airport, and just kicks me out. I said, go, go away. That's lies. All it is is lies. She drives me to the airport so I can go make money and pay the bills. And it gives me more time with him. Yeah. In the car. Yeah. At least we had some time at home and I got the chairs done. Yay! Yay. And people say we did a good job with the chairs. Yay! Yay. And other we people, did not, you did. And they said, well, they're not that hard to do. All you have to do is use the old pattern as a material as a pattern. Yeah, but it's still hard to do. Can that person get up on stage and make people laugh? I don't know. Everyone Maybe. has their own skill. That's right. Airport time. Airport time. Bye. Please make sure they are unplugged from the outlet, the airplane mode, and secure. Welcome to Miami and my room. This is my room here at the, uh, what is this? This is the Miami Marriott. Very nice. Big TV. Gotta love big TVs. Desk, chair, and look at this view. Very nice. I like it. What is that from? What was that from? I like it. That was a movie, wasn't it? Somebody help Dinner me. Dinner time, so I'm going to come to the restaurant here at the hotel. It's called Catch. Catch. Happy Saturday! Good morning, guys! We got some snow, just a few inches, nothing crazy, but it's a Saturday morning. I don't have to go to work, so I'm just chilling. I'm actually cooking because I'm realizing I am on day 12 of Whole30. I am realizing that I like to cook. <laughs> I think I knew that once, but I kind of forgot. Prepping. This is me meal prepping. I'm grounding some hamburger here for Whole30. I did some meal prepping last night too. It's all about planning, I think, when it comes to the Whole30. That, that looks to be about done. I'm using avocado oil. That's Whole30 fruit. And then here I've got some ground turkey. And you see, this one is not on the same heat as this one. This one's actually a little higher, and this one is not popping. So I'm still adjusting to the cast iron skillet, but I love it. What am I gonna do with this meat? Well, I'm gonna make eggies with this meat. Egg cups, which is what I eat for breakfast on Whole30. And then I'm going to um, put this meat in my veggie bowl, which is what I like to eat for lunch. And this is week three I'm preparing for, and I haven't gotten sick of it, so that's I, cool. um. Whole30's been good, I've, I've gotten used to it, I understand it, and I feel like when I go shopping, it, it kind of makes it an adventure. Is this good, is this not good? Um, looking for all those secret additives. Um, but I do feel a little like, I'm not even halfway through. Can I do this? And then I read today on this, excuse me, on this Facebook group, um, Keep Calm and Whole30, which I really like, and it's, it reminded us that day 11 and 12 are a couple of the hardest days. It's the day where you're like, okay, kind of like I said, quite a ways to go. I'm feeling like I, I've got a handle on this. And this is the most common days, 11 and 12, that people drop out. But I'm not going to do that. Nope. I'm meal prepping. I got this. Let me know if you even care about hearing about Whole30. It's kind of consumed my life, um, which hopefully eventually it just becomes a lifestyle, but right now I feel like I'm a toddler and I'm learning to walk and I'm like, okay, this is what I need to do. I almost made tea last night that had stevia in it, not realizing it, it's one of my favorite teas. It has a root beer flavor and um, almost made it, but thankfully stopped and read the ingredients. So yeah, if you don't wanna hear about Whole30 anymore, just let me, leave a comment below. It's okay, I won't be offended. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing this morning. Happy Saturday, yay! 
I just love the snow. On days that I can stay inside, but it's so pretty. It's pure white. I just love it. Pretty snow. Okay, here are this week's eggies, and each week I try and mix them up a little bit. The basis is 10 eggs that you scramble together with a protein. This week it's ground turkey, and I, I typically add um, chopped up onions. And then this week I've added this that I found at Sprouts, which is Whole30 approved. It's got potatoes, sweet potatoes, and carrots. So these are gonna be delicious. The eggies are completed, and I actually decided to use the ground beef to make another version of the Whole30 chili that isn't too spicy for me, because last week- My mouth was on fire, and I couldn't eat it. I actually gave it to Steve, he didn't eat it all, so I'm gonna try a different version. And so to replace that protein that was gonna go in my veggie bowls, I'm actually making um, this chicken thigh recipe that has this really good marinade. So that's what's happening. Saturday morning productivity. Good morning, guys. Waking up here in Miami. Janet's waking up to snow and I'm waking up to- uh, Check that out. I know I showed that earlier, but look, at no snow. No snow. Is that, is that snow capped to buildings? Oh, no, that's just buildings. <laughs> Oh, I was dragging my luggage because my name wasn't on the, the manifest, so I had to find my room. And when I got to the ship, wow, I got a nice room. Oh, I got a really nice room. This is almost like a little suite. There's the bathroom over there. This is a closet. Wow. Sorry, I'm a little still out of air, but yeah, very nice. Uh, oh, it's locked. I gotta figure these things out. I know where I'll be. Nicest room I've had since I started working for these guys. This is a beautiful room. I haven't had a balcony room since I worked for that other cruise line in Italy. I'm liking this. Very nice. A coffee pot. What? what? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. And water for the shows. <sighs> Got my got my letter, and that's my uh, that's my entertainer card. Check out the bathroom. That, that's even bigger than. Oh my goodness gracious! Look at that! A tub and a shower. That's a British style door on that or a European style door. They always do like the little half doors. I don't know why. Still spiders out. But uh, yeah, my phone's ringing. I bet that's Simeon. Yep, that is quite the room. So now I gotta go find something to eat because I haven't eaten all day. I have got to go, uh, let's see. I haven't been on the ship since it launched. I was on the symphony when they launched this in Barcelona, but now I gotta remember where to go. Yes, I kept it keto. I'll show you a picture of what I had. So I'm laying in my bed and all of a sudden I look up and there's a boat going by.
let's see who, who it is. I can't tell. Oh, uh, Norwegian Bliss, it says. away and I'm on the deck yes I'm on the balcony what this is pretty cool Janet goes I know where you'll be every morning having coffee not even in the morning right now I think we're all like leaving at the same time there's another one over here too one right there While that was cooking, I've been a very busy girl. I went and worked out, I've been scrapbooking, and I finalized my meal prep for the week. You gotta see this. Look at that. Those are my lunches. And these are the eggies. I would show you, but that's gonna take too much. But that is the key to success with Whole30. Meal prep, meal prep, meal prep. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're forced to make a decision between healthy food and not healthy food. Just have the healthy food ready to go. It's a no-brainer. I'm gonna have some chili with a baked potato. That's gonna be my Saturday dinner. I've been trying to catch up on The Bachelor because tomorrow my girl Amber's coming over and my other girl Ashley, we're gonna do a podcast and talk all about it, so. Colton season, episode one. I'm, I'm almost finished. Almost. Hope you guys are having a great day. But really, ABC, three hours. I'm going to watch it, but I'm not going to watch it without complaining. Three hours? <laughs>